Solution Introduction Solutions are homogeneous mixtures of two or more than two components. By homogeneous mixture, we mean that its composition and properties are uniform throughout the mixture. Generally, the component that is present in the largest quantity is known as solvent. Solvent determines the physical state in which solution exists. One or more components present in the solution other than solvent are called solutes. Type of solutions. The solution may be solid or liquid or in gaseous state as summarized composition of solutions. This can be described by expressing the solution's concentration. The concentration can be expressed either quantitatively or qualitatively. For example, qualitatively, we can say that a solution is either dilute or concentrated. Quantitatively, we can describe the concentration of a solution in several ways. Solved problem. Calculate the mole fraction of ethylene glycol in a solution containing 20% of C2H6O2 by mass. Assume that we have 100 grams of solution. Solution will contain 20 grams of ethylene glycol and 80 grams of water. The mole fraction is calculated. Calculate molality of 2.5 grams of ethanolic acid in 75 grams of benzene. Solubility of a solid in a liquid. Solubility of a substance is its maximum amount that can be dissolved in a specified amount of solvent at a specified temperature. It depends upon the nature of solute and solvent as well as temperature and pressure. Every solid does not dissolve in a given liquid. While sodium chloride and sugar dissolve readily in water, naphthalene does not. On the other hand, naphthalene dissolves readily in benzene, but sodium chloride and sugar do not. Solubility of a gas in a liquid. For solution of gases in a solvent, consider a system as shown in figure A. The lower part is solution and the upper part is gaseous system at pressure P and temperature T. Assume this system to be in a state of dynamic equilibrium. Now, Increase the pressure over the solution phase by compressing the gas to a smaller volume. This will increase the number of gaseous particles per unit volume over the solution and also the rate at which the gaseous particles are striking the surface of solution to enter it. The solubility of the gas will increase until a new equilibrium is reached, resulting in an increase in the pressure of a gas above the solution and thus its solubility increases. Henry's Law Henry's Law states that at a constant temperature, the solubility of a gas in a liquid is directly proportional to the pressure of the gas. Henry's Law states that the partial pressure of the gas in vapour phase, P, is proportional to the mole fraction of the gas, X, in the solution and is expressed as P is equal to KH x. Here, kh is the Henry's law constant. If we draw a graph between partial pressure of the gas versus mole fraction of the gas in solution, then we should get a plot of the type vapor pressure of liquid solutions. Let us consider a binary solution of two volatile liquids and denote the two components as 1 and 2. When taken in a closed vessel, both the components would evaporate and eventually an equilibrium would be established between vapour phase and the liquid phase. Let the total vapour pressure at this stage be P total and P1 and P2 be the partial vapour pressures of the two components 1 and 2 respectively. These partial pressures are related to the mole fractions X1 and X2 of the two components 1 and 2 respectively. The vapour pressure is calculated as shown. Vapour pressure of solids in liquids. We know that liquids at a given temperature vaporize, and under equilibrium conditions, the pressure exerted by the vapours of the liquid over the liquid phase is called vapour pressure. In a pure liquid, the entire surface is occupied by the molecules of the liquid. If a non-volatile solute is added to a solvent, 
to give a solution, the vapor pressure of the solution is solely from the solvent alone. Ideal solutions. The solutions which obey Rolle's law over the entire range of concentration are known as ideal solutions. The ideal solution has two other important properties. The enthalpy of mixing of the pure components to form the solution is zero and the volume of mixing is also zero. It means that no heat is absorbed or evolved when the components are mixed. Also, the volume of solution would be equal to the sum of volumes of the two components. Non-ideal solutions. When a solution does not obey Raoult's law over the entire range of concentration, then it is called non-solution. The vapor pressure of such a solution is either higher or lower than that predicted by Raoult's law. If it is higher, the solution exhibits positive deviation and if it is lower, it exhibits negative deviation from Raoult's law. The plots of vapor pressure as a function of mole fractions for such solutions are shown in the graph. Elevation of boiling point. The figure depicts the variation of vapor pressure of the pure solvent and solution as a function of temperature. The vapor pressure of an aqueous solution of sucrose is less than 1.013 bar at 373.15 K. In order to make this solution boil, its vapor pressure must be increased to 1.013 by raising the temperature above the boiling temperature of the pure solvent. Thus, the boiling point of a solution is always higher than that of the boiling point of the pure solvent in which the solution is prepared. Depression of freezing point. The freezing point of a substance may be defined as the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the substance in its liquid phase. A solution will freeze when its vapor pressure equals the vapor pressure of the pure solid solvent as is clear. Osmosis. Osmosis is the diffusion of water through a semi-permeable membrane from a solution of low solute concentration to a solution with high solute concentration up a solute concentration gradient. It is a physical process in which a solvent moves without input of energy across a semi-permeable membrane separating two solutions of different concentration. Osmosis releases energy and can be made to do work as when a growing tree root splits a stone. Osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure is the hydrostatic pressure produced by a solution in a space divided by a semi-permeable membrane due to a differential in the concentrations of solute. The osmotic pressure, pi, of a dilute solution can be calculated using the formula P is equal to I, M, R, T, where I is the Van Hoff factor, M is the molarity, R is the gas constant, T is the thermodynamic temperature. Calculation of osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure is proportional to the molarity, C of the solution at a given temperature, T. Thus, pi is equal to CRT. Here, pi is the osmotic pressure and R is the gas constant. Pi is equal to N2 by V, RT. Here, V is volume of a solution in litres containing N2 moles of solute. If W2 grams of solute of molar mass, M2 is present in the solution, then N2 is equal to W2 by M2 and we can write as above. Reverse osmosis and water purification. Osmosis is a natural process that occurs in all living cells. Water permeates through a membrane that excludes suspended solids, dissolved salts and larger organic molecules. The osmosis process may be reversed by applying pressure to the salt solution. In reverse osmosis, water from the salt solution is forced back through the semi-permeable membrane to the pure solution. The process stops when the osmotic pressure of the increasingly salty solution equals the applied pressure.